everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to do a little let's get to know me video. I've been asked to do a question and answer um, thing and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some of the basic stuff and then I would like you to in the comments if you have questions for me that you'd like to know something that you're dying to know and or I'm just want to know you're willing to share and and huh and that you are willing to share oh and yeah if I'm willing to share you'll hear from, <laughs> you'll you'll hear the answer if I'm not willing to share I probably wouldn't answer it I might might skirt around it or something um, but anyways it's a it, let's get to know me and I'm going to give you some of the basic stuff and this is really basic so here we go I'm going to tell you my name First of all, my first question for myself is, what is your name? Well, my name is Mary Grace. I um, will tell you now how I got my name so that maybe it'll make sense to you. Um, my mother had three boys and she really, really wanted a girl. So she would pray to the Blessed Mother through the intercession of Mary and through the grace of God that she would name her first first girl Mary Grace. So I'm named after the Blessed Mother and through the grace of God. So I'm Mary Grace. That's my first name. So that's how I got my name. And um, how old am I? I am, I almost said the wrong age. <laughs> I almost said 57. I'm not 57. I'm 67. But you know what? I feel like 39 a lot of times and I'm lucky I didn't say 39 because that's what I usually comes to my mind is 39. Jack Benny's age. Remember Jack Benny? I don't really remember him, but all I remember is everybody would say they were Jack Benny's age, and Jack Benny was 39 for years and years and years, and Jack Benny really was an old person. So my real age is 67. Okay, and what size family did I have? Or tell me about my, my immediate family when I was growing up. I grew up, oh, you look how red I've gotten. <laughs> Okay, I should go get my pretty fan. I should be using that. Let me go get it. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. And I've got my little box that has my fan in it. Now this fan, um, when I had the foster children, I, they were stealing a lot of stuff from me. And I couldn't find the fan, couldn't find the fan, couldn't find it. And I was getting a little bit upset because this is something that I wanted to keep forever. Let me show you what it looks like. Look at this. Isn't this pretty? This is the fan. And um, thank goodness they didn't steal this. I have it still. It's got a bullfighter on it. It's what it's got. And where did you get that fan from? From Spain. I think I've mentioned it before. <laughs> I got it. Oh, it works really well. Wow, that's better than the notebook. Okay. Now back to my questions. Um, I was talking about my family. I have um, three brothers and two sisters. We were a family of eight. So it was my mother and father and then the six kids. Um, my brother Joe was the oldest and my sister Lucy is the youngest and I'm the oldest of the girls. And then I have, so it went Joseph, Laurel, Anthony, then Mary Grace, Anita, Lucy. And um, that's what went, let's see, was that it? And then I have seven grandchildren. My oldest one is 13 and the youngest one is four um, And how many pets do I have well, I've got a dog named Jake. I've got a cat Named Roscoe that I found underneath my gazebo one night the furniture was flying all over the place And we went outside to check what was happening because it was a real bad wind and we kept hearing this meh 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 and I said to Jim, there's no cat birds out at this time of night, is there? It was like 10 o'clock. And of course, there's no cat bird at that time. But that's what it sounded like. It sounded like a bird. And the closer I got to the area that the sound was, here was this little tiny kitten. No bigger than my hand. It was no bigger than my hand. And its tail was no bigger than my pinky. And he says, leave it there. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't like cats at all he said leave it there and I thought oh gosh okay I will leave it there but all night I'm thinking I gotta save that little kitten because if that kitten if the mother doesn't come back for that cat it'll be there in the morning 
Sure enough, it was there in the morning. So I went out and I got the kitty. It's still going meh, meh. And I brought it in the house. I put it in a plastic container and I put it on the washing machine and the dog is jumping around trying to see what the heck I've got in that container. I went to the store and I went to the farm store first and all they had was puppy formula. They didn't have any cat formula or bottles. So then I thought, well, I'll have to wait till the vet's office opens, but the, I decided to go to Walmart in the meantime. So I went to Walmart, and Walmart had the cat formula for the kitten, and it had the baby bottles for the kittens. But you had to snip the nipple, and hopefully you didn't snip it too far because it would have flowed too fast. And um, so I, I fed, hand fed this cat, and this cat, you would have thought it would have been a nice cat in the end. Mm -mm. It's a mean cat, and, he, and my husband goes, that's probably why the mother left it. Probably was touched in the head, and some something was wrong with it, and so it left it. But it's not a nice cat. It's pretty mean. But I I still have him. He's, he's like eight years old, I think, somewhere in there. I got him after the dog. So he's like eight years, I think he's eight, seven or eight years old. Okay, that was about the pet. Oh, the one pet, the cat. And then I have a turtle. And the kids call the turtle rainbow. It's not a rainbow turtle, but they call it rainbow. And I have chickens. I have seven hens, three possible roosters, and four baby chicks. So that's what I have out there. Okay, now, did I go to college? No, but I do have one college credit. I got the college credit when I took the emergency medical technician training. I was very interested in, in medicine and things in case of emergency. So I took the course with the firemen. There was me plus two other girls. And by the end of the course, it was just me and no other girls. They all quit because the course was too hard. But I did very, very good in it. And um, when my, where I was working, found out that I was doing, had done this, the instructor that I had, he was going through because they were going to start the instruction at my place of employment. And he said if he was ever in a situation where he needed help, he'd want me. And my, my director of nurses looked at me and she goes, you took the course and you never told us? And I go, yeah, I took the course and I never told him. But yeah, I have one college credit and that's how I got the one college credit. When I, I graduated from high school in 1971, and when you graduated, when I graduated anyways, it was expected to go to work. You had the month of July and month of August, you were you were pretty much didn't have to go to work. But by September, you better have a job. And I had a job September 30th when I started my job. I finally got hired, for, um, and I worked at um, the county home. But still in high school. I'm still in high school. Wait a minute. I have what, to back up. What was the county home though? Oh, well, that was a nursing home. But I got to go back um, for the high school. In high school, I played the French horn. Not the easiest instrument to choose. I really would have liked to have played the flute, but they chose for you. You didn't have a choice when I was in school, and it was a privilege to be in the band. They didn't just give you an instrument like they do today. The kids walk in the school and they say, what instrument do you want to take? Well, we had to do flutophone, then we had to do a hearing test and a sound test and a written test, um, and then maybe you got an instrument. Um, I also was in choir. I was a soprano, first soprano. I had an extremely high voice at one time, and I was in a choraliers group, which was a special group that you had to to try out for. They'd have two first sopranos, two second sopranos, two altos, two tenors, two baritones, and two bass. And I was one of the first sopranos in that group. Okay, now my jobs. I've actually worked 10 years at a nursing home. And it was the, it was the called Chautauqua County Home and Infirmary. It was a place where Mostly old people were there, but they did take in a few people if they were like a burn victim and they are a burn person, like rehab. And so we used to do some rehab, on, but most of them were like 80 and older. Um, and I did have to take care of people when they died. That was really scary. The one time um, I was moving a, a resident, they had just passed away, and I was moving them from the bed to the gurney 
and they gave me the head and shoulders area, the heaviest part. I'm the smallest person and they gave me the heaviest part. Well, when we put the body down, apparently there's still air in the lungs and it went, and I said, are you sure it's dead? You know, because it was kind of scary. Whereas another girl, when they were bringing it down in the elevator to take it to the morgue, the body actually sat up and it, she was really, really, really scared. And she never, for after that, she would not take care of anybody that passed away because she was always afraid that, that was going to happen again. I'd be afraid of that too. Um, I also did, I had a, like there was an eight year span that I was, I, after I worked at the county home for 10 years, then I, I stayed home with my children. And that eight years, I would go to the nursing home and do hair because I'm a licensed hairdresser. And they called to see if I was interested in, in doing hair. So two days a week, I would go do hair. I would take my two children that I had at the time with me. I was expecting my third, and I wanted to subcontract my job out to another girl, but a new director took over and didn't want to honor the contract that I had with the former director. So I let the job go, and so I, I didn't do any more hair. But I did do hair for eight years. And then I went to work. No, then I worked for myself again. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm working for myself. I opened my daycare, and I did that for 13 years. I was the only daycare in the north end of our county, and there was 10 daycares total. In the, the, our county is really big, so the south county had nine, and there was just me on this side. So I was the first daycare to open on this end of the county. And when I opened... Our village did not know what to do with us. Our town didn't know what to do with me, so they made me get a building permit. I wasn't building, but they made me get a building permit, so I had to pay $50 for a building permit for nothing. So what did I do? Because I had to pay something, and I wasn't getting anything back from it, so I had my husband put up a sign, um, the poles for a sign. So that's how I got my sign for my daycare. I put it up and if they would have said anything I'd say I had a building permit $50 I had to pay to build I needed to build something then later on they found out that they weren't supposed to charge anybody for daycare but they didn't give me my money back but I had already built the thing so I was I was good then after the daycare after 13 years at the daycare I went to work for McDonald's um, and I worked there for seven and a half years, and I was crew person of the year. They sent me to Vegas and to Florida, and they had me go to, to um, what? East Coast. East, oh, for the whole East Coast. Yeah, it was a quarter million people. I was crew person for just little old me they chose. <laughs> it was funny. But, yeah, they had a camera crew come in, and, and they had a big production. It was a big thing. They... They, they taped me and it was up on the big screen in Vegas and it was just a big thing. Then um, I went to work at the school but I also kept my my job at McDonald's too because I was afraid I might not like it at the school and at least I still had my McDonald's job. So for a little while I was working two jobs but I, that was the only time I ever worked two jobs. The fa My favorite season, I'm going to now, I like spring, summer, and fall, but only if the temperature's warm. If it's cold in the spring, I don't like spring. If it's cold in the fall, I don't like fall. And if it's cold in the summer, I don't like summer. But if it's nice and warm, like today, today it's actually, I wore a sweater for a while. It's cold. Today it got cold. I know. My husband laughs. laughs. But it, it's 78. 78 but the, but the humidity is down. It was cold. It was cold. I had to close the door. I had to close... I had to put a sweater on. It was cold for me. Um, and did I ever, do I drink? No. And did I ever smoke? No. Okay, those are, that's my, that's me. All of these that I could think of that you might want to know. Now, if you have a question that I didn't answer in this and you'd like to know, just put it in the comments and I will do another video of the questions and answers. So I hope you all had a great day. I hope I didn't forget anything that I wanted to say, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.